The quest for gold is as old as the discovery of America itself. Early Spanish explorers traveled over thousands of miles of unknown oceans and territory, hoping to discover lands that were bursting full of gold. Long before our European ancestors discovered the New World, Native American Indians were already aware of gold and its unique properties, but used it mostly for jewelry instead of valuing it as currency. In 1528, the Spanish governor of Florida, Panfilo de Narvaez, discovered traces of gold among the natives. When he asked about its origins, the Indians said it came from an area far to the north called Appalachian. Immediately, Narvaez organized an expedition and set out in search of this land. After stumbling upon a village of the Appalachians in northern Florida, the expedition was abandoned after gold was not found there. However, some speculate that the Indians may have actually been referring to the mountains in northern Georgia and North Carolina, commonly known as the Appalachian Mountain Range. If so, then this is the first recorded reference to Georgia gold. It wasn't until the French expeditions of 1564 that accounts of Georgia gold were officially recorded. René Goulain de Laudonnière was presented with gold from the friendly natives, found in the Appalachian Mountains. Laudonnière described how the natives collected the gold from the creek bottoms. They draw up sand in a hollow cane-like reed until it is full. Then by shaking and jarring it, they find grains mingled with sand. They also dug pits in the stream beds, collected the sands that fill into them, and panned out the gold. No one is certain when the first discovery of gold was made by the settlers in Georgia. Lucian Lamar Knight, Georgia's first state historian, tells of a discovery here in Carroll County near present-day Villarica, but he does not list his sources. Therefore, Villarica's gold claim was not widely recognized and remained one of conjecture and folklore for over 170 years. Further obscuring Villarica's claim was the widely publicized 1829 gold rush in Dahlonega, Georgia. Regardless, by the mid-1830s, Georgia was bustling with gold mining activity. In fact, more than 500 working gold mines have been documented in Georgia during this time period making it one of the more prolific producers of the precious metal in the nation. This southern gold rush, the first in American history, lasted well into the 1840s. The region in Georgia, stretching from Rabin County through the city of Dahlonega, southward through Cherokee County and into Pauling and Carroll County before ending in Alabama, would become known as the Dahlonega or Georgia Gold Belt. Throughout the mid-1800s, it was one of the richest gold formations ever found in the continental United States. Gold is relatively scarce in the earth, but it occurs in many different kinds of rocks and in many different geological environments. Through several geological processes, the random gold particles become concentrated into larger deposits. These concentrated load deposits are the primary target for gold miners and there are several theories as to how they got there. One theory is that rainwater seeped down into the hot magma of the earth and became superheated water that dissolved the metals in the surrounding rocks. The heated water began to rise to the surface and as it cooled, the metallic minerals precipitated and formed veins of gold ore. Another theory suggests that gold-bearing solutions are expelled from hot magma as it moves into cooler surrounding rocks. And the last hypothesis of gold formation is most commonly accepted for mountainous regions and continental margins. This theory suggests that as the mountains were being formed, sedimentary and volcanic rocks were deeply buried or thrust under the edge of the continent where they were subjected to high temperatures and pressure. This may have created a chemical reaction that changed existing rock into new minerals and migrated upward to the surface as the water cooled. Of the three theories, this last one is most likely to have created the gold here in Georgia, and specifically Villarica, 
This is because Villarica sits on a seismic fault line, and evidence of the Earth's plates shifting and overlapping can be found at the summit of Pine Mountain later in your tour. Villarica played an important role in the gold mining and westward expansion as a whole. The land on which the city was established was originally ceded by the Creeks in 1825 in a treaty by William McIntosh. 